The night American TV slaps itself on the back, but this year apparently not the Brits. If Elton John made it to the stage with a tribute to Liberace, the awards themselves had a homegrown feel. The star of that TV movie was among the winners. This was a two-hander, and Matt, you're only as good. <laughs> You're only as good as your other hand. So. <laughs> Downton Abbey's Hugh Bonneville and Homeland's Damien Lewis lost to a surprise winner for Best Drama Actor. And the Emmy goes to Jeff Daniels. I usually don't uh, win anything. I, the last thing I won was in uh, a few years ago for Squid and the Whale, I won the Best Actor Over 50 from the AARP. <laughs> while Downton's Michelle Dockery lost out in the Best Actress. Claire Danes, Homeland. The nominees for Outstanding Drama Series are... And Downton was beaten to the night's big award. Breaking Bad. There was some British success for the hour. And the Emmy goes to... Abby Morgan. And maybe the most significant winner was this one. And the Emmy goes to David Fincher, House of Cars. A breakthrough for the show made and aired by streaming service Netflix. And the buzz on the red carpet at the Emmys this year is all about House of Cards, that internet remake of a British TV classic. The sense that what that show brings and how it's delivered to the viewer may be the start of a TV revolution. What Netflix is doing, is it, is it that big a moment, do you think, for TV? I think that what is clear to me is that more platforms are going to start to emerge, more audiences are going to start to evolve, and if networks don't follow the audience, they're, they're going to lose them. A night of surprise, winners and losers maybe, and one which could have signaled the changing face of TV. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.